In 2014, we got together with our industry advisory board and they presented us with a problem. The demand for technicians and for engineers who understand control systems is off the charts in northern Utah. The high schools, the technical college, and the university needed to come together and come up with a plan to, to get more students interested in manufacturing fields. To do this, we've created a stackable credential pathway starting in high school where students work toward completing certificates in automated manufacturing and electronics at their local high school. If they complete their Bridgerland certificate, they can transfer 30 credits toward an Associate of Applied Science at local universities. It has streamlined a pathway to opportunity in high-wage, high-demand industries as well as provide a pathway to a Bachelor of Science and Technology Systems. Students save thousands of dollars and complete at least a year of their post-secondary education. We broadcast and provide support into every high school in Northern Utah every single day. We've recruited teachers and put Bridgeland lab equipment into each school. And all of a sudden we had new issues and new problems that we were trying to resolve. So we wrote a grant called Scaling Up Utah's Automated Manufacturing Technician Pipeline. In this grant, we're targeting and resolving issues with respect to curriculum, student retention and recruitment, and teacher professional development. But one of the big obstacles that we had was that we also needed to figure out how to reduce the cost of lab equipment that we distribute to the high schools. So we came up with a low cost training system in, that we could have at the high schools. This was our first version of it. Um, it's basically rails with a power supply, a 24 volt AC and DC power supply. And then we've got components that we were able to just put onto these uh, DIN rails and use them to deliver our curriculum. And the students would be able to be hands-on even though they weren't present at Bridgerland. We were taking Bridgerland and bringing it to them. We thought maybe we would get 40 people, 40 students to come in, high school students to be a part of the program. And there ended up being about 120 that first year. The second year, it went up to about 180. We're over 300 students that are currently taking this curriculum across the state, across these institutions. This grant has impacted a tremendous amount of students here locally and across the state. It's also impacted industry. They now have the workforce that they need to not only survive but thrive. Lastly, it's, it's impacted multiple institutions across the state. Bridgerland was never going to solve all of the needs of all of the manufacturing employers in the state by itself. But now, because we've been able to figure out how to share this with other institutions, and now that we have a community of practice, we can all solve it together.